contender. Uh, this is the end, if you like, of this long running saga that involves carbon rod rigging and broken bits and pieces, but we're here in the end. So we started this discussion about a year or so ago uh, about the use of um, uh, a carbon rod and here it is. Uh, 2.5 millimeter thick solid carbon rod rigging from SeaTec in New Zealand uh, who also made the rig and it forms around the mast uh, simply with a uh, continuation of loops so the, the rod runs up, runs around the mast, uh, there's no intrusions into the mast which was my original desire which is how he sort of came up with this idea um, and it's working really really well um, very happy with it it's incredibly stiff uh, obviously it has no give in it whatsoever uh, and, and it's proved to make not a significant difference to the way the boat sails but but it is one that you notice especially when you put the uh, uh, the new um, uh, evolution panelled uh, plastic sail on it. it makes quite a bit of difference there I've had to make fittings uh, for the boat so um, you might have seen these before at the, at the national titles that we had here in Australia. Uh, because because there, that's the, the yellow loop uh, just there, that's the boat breaker. Um, because the fibre extends down and it must run around effectively a thimble, I've made these adjusters and uh, as, I, as I turn the wheel, as it goes up and down the rack, it's, uh, it's five millimetre increments and as you turn the wheel, it's one millimetre increments. So I worked out that uh, at the back where the, um, uh, where the boom hits the deck, one turn on the wheel, effectively one millimetre uh, at the forestay, uh, makes about um, 10 millimetres difference at the stern. So a gross movement is uh, uh, is uh, 50 mil, and a fine movement is 10. Uh, and then we had a version of the the lowers that I previously made that failed. Um, so this is version I think we're up to about three now. Uh, so the lowers have a very similar uh, sort of adjuster. But this one is more, um, uh, as you can see, it's more substantial, and it works on a uh, on a more um, traditional principle. But uh, it's a bit, bit too long here. It's a miscalculation on my behalf when I ordered the, the lowers, so it could be shortened again. But, but this one uh, is unbreakable. It's got a we've tried it in a um, in a load cell, and it makes uh, uh, 2,800 kilos of uh, pressure before it fails. And again, the cam adjusters on the cap shrouds. Um, I took the plates off. The, um, uh, the hull and the, on the deck here because they, they were one of the things that failed during a, um, uh, a pretty heavy air regatta that we had here and we're sailing more than 30 knots and falling off some big waves and these plates failed so these are, are uh, Technora strops that I've glued into the deck and, uh, and they've proved really effective so far and it holds the angle nicely and works really well. Uh, other little notable parts, most of the things that you can see here that are made of carbon fibre have either been made in my shed uh, or if they're better looking, they're probably made at SeaTex. So the um, uh, the lever vangs and the, the main sheet towers and such like I made all of that stuff. Uh, but thanks very much to, to Alex and uh, Chris and Jeremy and Lynn and everybody from SeaTex because uh, we wouldn't be here making the stuff if it wasn't for them. Uh, we make our own uh, here in, here in Australia. We make our own uh, trap rings out of um, uh, six millimeter stainless, so they're less likely to break. And of course tube that we use comes from SeaTech of course and uh, uh, as some people have seen we're using these the new kind of clam cleats um, for the uh, uh, for the trapeze just because it gives you the ability to adjust up and down and uh, means on, on the fly it also acts as a stopper so that when you get to the top uh, you can't put yourself up too high and you can't drop yourself too low. So that is my carbon fibre rod rigging which I'm very very happy about so thank you very much to uh, to SeaTech and everybody who's inquired and I can <clears throat> I can really recommend it because uh, uh, it's been it's been a great experiment and like most things in Contender it's uh, it's turned out to be most fun when you're doing it with your friends.